finally time to make my favorite Barbie movie dress. Barbie Rapunzel has always been my very favorite Barbie movie since I was little. It has my favorite symphony in it. Um, and I just, I love the animation, I love the story, everything about it is perfect. So, now that I'm on a Barbie kick, I have all the fabric that I bought yesterday, and we're gonna make it. I'm gonna start with the, the skirts first, and then the bodice, but this is what I have. Some sparkle tulle, pink satin, purple satin, purple tulle, this really pretty pink and gold brocade fabric, this really pretty uh, purple sparkly fabric. It's gonna be so much fun, and I'm really, really excited to make this, and I hope that everybody else likes it. This is the one. One of the last videos I did was making the 12 Dancing Princesses ballet dress and that one was really popular and people have really been asking me to do a lot more Barbie dresses so I'm gonna give the people what they want and this week we're gonna make another Barbie ball gown. Before we start, I would love it if you could like this video and if you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do so because I make a lot of cool things on this channel and I love to share what I make with everybody else. And I'm sure you can tell that my voice sounds a bit different. I do have a little bit of a cold that I'm getting over so just ignore that and hopefully as the video goes on, I'll be better and I won't sound so funny. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I was gonna work on is the skirt and there's actually a few different things that we have to do for the skirt because there's an underlayer that has the purple and pinkish white center with the gold trim but then there's also an overlayer with what looks like a sheer sparkly pink fabric so i got 12 yards of tulle and when the lady was cutting it off of the bolt there was exactly 12 yards on the bolt left so i really really lucked out with getting enough because i want to make two circle skirts so that it's really full and i don't know if you can tell but it's really really sparkly and then here's kind of where I messed up. So I did get two yards of this to make the middle panel for the underskirt, but I was gonna make three quarters of a circle or maybe just a circle of purple to go under. And I thought I got enough, but then when she was rolling it out on the bolt at the cutting counter, I noticed that it was not 60 inches wide, but in fact, 45 inches wide. But I always have a lot of anxiety and I hate going to the fabric store anyway and getting fabric cut. So when I noticed that it was not wide enough i was like i'm not gonna say anything i'll just let her cut it so i ended up getting three yards of this purple in the wrong width and i have a whole bolt of it from something else of the same fabric that i'll be using so i had to kind of change my plan now and i'm gonna have to do panels instead of a circle but the panels are still an issue because it's only 45 inches wide and i like to make ball gown skirts around 47 or 50 inches long so we're just gonna have to make a shorter skirt and in turn it might have to be not as poofy as a skirt and less poofy yeah, so I think we're just gonna tackle the issue first and figure out how to get a lot of poofiness with only 45 inch wide fabric. But yeah, I just didn't pay attention and plus Joann's doesn't have a lot of options where I am. So there wasn't any other purple satin option anyway and it was really all I had left. So I'm just gonna make it work like I always do. There's always an issue that I run into when I'm making a dress and what are you gonna do about it? So we're gonna figure out the game plan. <laughs> Another thing is that I always like to go for matte satin and there's only the cheap, shiny, thin, papery stuff at Joann's that we're gonna have to work with. So instead of using the shiny side, which I feel can sometimes look a bit cheap, I might use the opposite side so it's more of a matte color. And I don't know if you can see all the way to the floor, but it is long enough, but once you add the ball gown, it's gonna be too short. We're just gonna have to deal with it and just have a bit of a shorter dress, but I think I will, I lost my train of thought. I think I'm gonna do triangular panels so that I get a lot of volume at the bottom but not at the top. We'll see how it goes. Let me go get the bolts I have as well. Yeah, so I have quite a bit on this too. It's the exact same fabric. So I do have a lot to work with. I just really wish it was longer because it's not gonna be ideal. I could have, I should have just checked, but it's all good. Let's get this cut into panels and I'll meet with you when that's done. And then we can work on the pink center part. I just finished cutting out a lot of panels. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
I have 10 panels for the hair. I just washed it, but I know that making skirts, at least in my opinion, is so boring to film and just to like, I don't know, to edit. <laughs> so I'll try not to be boring showing you how I'm gonna make the skirt. But now that I have the panels, I'm basically just gonna sew all the panels together. And then in the center of those, add a pink half circle skirt. And so bear with me because I'll try not to make this boring. So let's make the skirt and then we can get started on the fun part, which is the bodice. <laughs> like a corpse right now because my mascara ran in the shower so let me show you what the skirt looks like now that it's all done you saw me make it the sparkle barely shows up on here it's showing up quite well but like on my tiktoks it's not showing up and people are telling me that i need to make it sparkly here's the proof that it's quite sparkly so i ended up doing i originally got enough for two circle skirts but then after i put it on it was too much tool so i think there's actually just a little bit over a circle of this tool and then on the bottom the panels actually ended up working very well. I think the panels actually gave me a bit too much volume. I might even say there's more than a circle with the panels and it is a bit short, but it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And it's pretty good. You can barely tell that it's panels and then there's the pink satin. And then I glued with just regular hot glue, some gold trims. This is actually gold bias right here because I didn't have a really thick trim. And then I added this. And I know that she does have gold on the hem as well, but that's just too much trim and it would get super expensive. So for now, we just have this piece right here. Now that that's finally done, we can finally start working on the bodice, which I'm kind of nervous for because I always have trouble doing bodices with sleeves, but it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm really excited and I hope that I do it justice. I accidentally didn't film the making of this pattern, but I did drape it on my dress form. Now I have all of the pieces cut out and I'm gonna start sewing the bodice together for this dress. The skirts are finally done and the bodice is the most daunting part. So I'm going to be doing an outer layer and lining. The lining is mismatched because I was just piecing together different pieces of fabric I had. So there's some uh, cream color and there's also some pink. So I'm going to sew the lining and the bodice outer layers together. I really, really like how this pink fabric is looking with the purple. And then this is the lining. So I think I'm going to add the boning channels into the seams of this lining before I put these two together. But look at how pretty this is. I got it at Joann's and I'm honestly in love with it. And I wish I would have gotten more. I only got a quarter of a yard, I think. But it's so beautiful. And I want to try to find another thing to use it for. Also, this fabric I got for the sleeves is literally insane. Okay, so I think I'm finally gonna finish the dress today. I've taken a few days off as a break because I was feeling really burnt out about it. And I just, I don't know, I've been working so hard on things that I had to kind of take a pause for a few days. So it's been radio silence on TikTok and Instagram. Not that you'll notice. I'm finally going to finish it. I really just have to finish the sleeves and add them to the bodice. The bodice just needs to be finished up, but I'm kind of struggling. So I do have two beautiful puffy sleeves that are super glittery. And then I messed up at the fabric store because I only used one reference photo from the movie and in the movie she's kind of posed like this on the photo I was using and so on the picture I was using it just looked like the bottom half of her sleeve was a dark version of the top half so I got this knit so that it could be tight. I thought it would look good and like this. Well then I come home and I'm looking at more pictures and I realized that the bottom half was a darker color just because of the specific screen grab from the movie I was looking at so in reality it's not so supposed to be this much darker from this. It's supposed to be this shade, just not sparkly. I was feeling 
kind of annoyed because I didn't want to go back out to the store and I was going to try to use what I had on hand, but nothing is really working out, but I don't want to go get more. So I think I might just use this because it's perfect for stretching so that it can be skin tight. And I honestly don't mind it at all. The only reason I want to do it a different color is because I know I'm going to get comments saying, oh, it's the wrong color. The sleeves are wrong. But I decided I just don't care about the comments. I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm just going to use this. I actually know commenters so well at this point after doing this for about a year that people are so rude. Like I got in a million comments saying the sleeves are the wrong color. Who freaking cares? Make your own dress if you don't like how I'm making it. This is not a part of the video, but people think that they own my decisions. Somebody really commented and told me, well, because you're a public figure, you have to respond to what the people want. The last time I checked, I was still a human being, just like you and everybody else commenting. So how about I do what I want to do and you do what you want to do? You're not going to own my creative process, if that makes sense. The sleeves actually look quite good in my opinion, and I love how they turned out. I think it adds a good contrast. It was too much of the same shade of purple the other way. You'll see what I mean in the final reveal. If you don't like the sleeves, you know that's your personal opinion. In my opinion, they look good, and there's no need to tear people down because you have a different opinion than them. People get so harsh in the comments and it's so unnecessary. So I'm just saying this right now, the sleeves are not gonna look identical and that's okay. Rant over, that was kind of annoying. <laughs> so I have the puffy sleeves, you can see they're gathered and all I need to do is gather the bottom hem and sew it onto this and then we'll finish the sleeve up and add it and then we'll just go from there. So I'm just gonna sew and I will meet you back up when the two sleeves are ready to be added to the bodice. I finished the sleeves, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big. They're like something a woman from like the 1890s or whatever would wear. Like these are ginormous. They look ridiculous. <laughs> They're so big, but I'm trying to imagine what's gonna look like actually sewn together. I think it will be good, but they're like ginormous. Like you could put balloons under here and you wouldn't even know there was a balloon. <laughs> they're huge. But I'm gonna sew these onto the bodice now and we'll see the full effect of the Rapunzel sleeve in all its glittery glory. They're like hotter balloons on my hands. <laughs> And then of course, as always, for the structure of the bodice, I'm just gonna use zip ties because it's way more affordable than using real boning and I can just get it really easily at Lowe's or Home Depot. Also, I did not have one of these grommet setting tools until last October and it has changed my life and I wish I had one before it. I'm able to punch the holes in the fabric so easily and then it's a lot easier to put the grommets into. I'm just not realizing how bad I was at getting video footage of these last steps, but basically I just glued on this gold trim to the bodice edges to finish the look off. And of course I had to show you my cat. <laughs> 